Good morning, Susie Cobden. Today's day nine of our Cultivating Self Love Adventure. I hope that you're all having fun and becoming empowered and doing the processes. Um, at the very least, you should be feeling good. I've been thinking about, well, myself, because my whole world is about, my, about me, about myself. It's through me that my whole world is. And therefore, if I'm not the best version of me that I can be, then my world is going to reflect that back to me. I've noticed that just little things have been coming up and I've been rallied back into old thought, which is never useful. But even more so now, you know, planetary energies are high and rising all the time. And our bodies are changing. Our bodies are being upgraded. Our cells and our DNA, not just our energy field, not just our mind. It's encouraging all of us to discover who we are and to become the best versions of ourselves. When we understand who we are, and what we can do, that we're actually the creator of our lives, then it takes out all competition, all judgment, and it leaves us in a place of complete power. And I have accomplished that to some degree. And then I notice little things like, you know, a few specks of dandruff yesterday. And suddenly I went into old thinking, you know, is it my shampoo? Is it um, the weather? Is it something else I've done? And really everything is energetic. It's nothing to do with any of that. It's telling me that I've got a small misalignment somewhere in my energy field. But that doesn't mean that I've got to go searching and digging and furrowing and go down into the deep depths of darkness to find it. All it is, is something to put me back on track and just say, hey, you know what? You've got a small issue there. And to reinforce my focus towards what I want. You know, I've done a lot of delving and a lot of digging in the past. And yes, it got me to where I am. But now, the energies are so powerful that I'm noticing manifestations sometimes within minutes. And more and more importantly, you know, we've got to be on the ball as far as our awareness goes. If we have sloppy thinking, disempowering thoughts, then that's where our focus is going. By focusing on self-love, we're actually remedying all faults. And they're not even faults. It's all experience and expansion. But wherever we've got disharmony or unbalance in our energy field it's remedied by the application of love so do yourself a big favor and love yourself today find new ways to love yourself give yourself a little bit of attention and although physical love is beautiful it's more about what happens in here and in here Respect yourself enough to do that. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.